Hello, my name is Johan, and in this video we'll have a look at the sign up and login template in Noodle. We will create a new project using the sign up template, and then we'll use Zapier to hook up email verification and password reset functionality. I'll also do a quick general overview of the different pages and components that are in this template. Let's create a new project by clicking the Create Project button. And then let's select the Sign Up Flow template. This template is great for anyone that's developing their own apps, as it will give you a whole sign up and login flow as a starting point. With just some minor additional work, this template also gives you fully functional password reset and email verification. Let me first make a little bit more space for the notes, and then let's check out the preview window. The first page we see is the sign up page. All the pages that are involved in signing up, logging in, or resetting passwords and so on, live in this folder right here. From the sign up page, you can reach the account creation page. And if you already have an account, you can go to the login page from here as well. The login page has a link to go to a page where you can request an email to reset your password. I'll show you a little later in the video how you can set that up. We can go back to the login page and from here we can go back to the sign up page. All of this navigation happens in this page router node here in the app component. The main page is the page the user reaches after they are logged in. If we look at the main page, we see it has another page router. This page router is where you will want to put the pages for your app. Right now it just has this start page and a profile page, and they're all in this app pages folder. There's one more folder in this template, and that's the components folder which contains various components that are used in the pages of this template. Let's actually sign up for an account and see what happens. I'll navigate to the account creation page and sign up. Fill in the email and a password, and then hit sign up. Okay, so here we get a nice pop-up telling us that an email has been sent, but we actually need to make that work for real, and we'll do that a bit later in the video. First, let's click OK, and now we're in the app. Here we see the email verification banner that will resend an email if you click, once you've hooked it up. You can also navigate to a profile page where you can upload a picture. Let's also have a quick look at the Noodle Cloud Services or backend for this template. It's very simple, no extra classes. And the most interesting class for us is the user class. It's the standard user class with the only difference that we've added a profile image column and columns for a user's first and last name. So that's the quick overview. Now let's set up the email verification and password reset functionality. In our sign up and login template, there are a couple of pages, the reset password and verify email pages. These are pages that users will reach by clicking a link in an email to either reset their password or verify their email. So to be able to send these emails, we will use Noodle's Zapier integration. And if we look quickly in the request reset password page, it is this node here, the request password reset node that communicates with the Zapier service. And in the email verification banner, it is the send email verification node that works in conjunction with Zapier. Before we set up our zaps in Zapier, we need to take a few steps here in Noodle. Right now, this project is just running locally here on my computer. 
but in the end it will be deployed somewhere so that people all over the internet can use it. And to set up the password reset and email verification, let's actually deploy this project. I'll click the deploy button here and I'll use the sandbox deploy as it's free and it's a quick way to test things with a small number of users. If I have a bigger app or service, I will probably deploy my project to a production site. And you can check out our deploy guide and video to learn more about that. I need to give my deploy a subdomain, and if I just want a random name, I can use this button. That looks good. Next, I need to select the backend I want to deploy with, and then I click the button. Okay, so cool. Now I have a nice URL here for my app and I can test it out in a browser. So I have my full flow here for the sign up and login pages, which is great. Let's head over to Zapier now and click the Zaps tab. Next, let's use the create new Zap button and then search for Noodle. Let's first take care of the email verification. So let's select the verification email requested trigger from this list of Noodle triggers. We need to connect to our Noodle backend. As you can see, I already have a connection to a Noodle backend, but it's a different one. So I need to add a new one. So I'll just click the connect a new account button. Now I get this pop-up here where I will need to fill in an endpoint and a master key. The endpoint and the master key are needed in order for Zapier to know which Noodle backend it should communicate with. So let's head back to Noodle and copy our values from our selected project backend. You'll find it here under the Cloud Services button and then unfurl the information here. I'll first copy the endpoint and paste it into the pop-up, and then I'll do the same for the master key. Great. I'll select this new account that is named Noodle2, and then click the test trigger button. Success. Great. So it shows me some example data here, and we will soon use some of the data fields, so let's continue. Next step is to choose what action I want to execute when I get the verification email trigger from Noodle. I want to send an email, and there are several different services already integrated with Zapier. Things like Mailgun and Mailchimp, but in this example, I'm just going to use this email by Zapier action. I'll select that I want to send an outbound email and click continue. And now I need to set up what the email should look like. Here, I want to put the user's email. So let's click it and look. From this list here, I can choose the email that the user has given us in our Noodle app. Then I'll put in an appropriate subject. And next we want to add the email body. I'll write a short message. And then this is where I want to add the URL we want our users to click to verify the email. I can get the URL from my deployed site. So I'll just copy it from here, making sure to only get the base URL, and then paste it in my zap. So we already have the base URL, and now we want our users to go to a specific page in our Noodle app. And that page is the Verify Email page. So let's have a look at that page in Noodle.
here we can see that the URL path is verify-email. So we will need that. But I also want to show you here in the page inputs nodes that this page expects to get a username and a token as input when it's navigated to. I'll show you how we do that in Zapier. So let's go back to our Zap setup with the URL path copied. Let's add the verify-email part after the slash here. And then we want to send the token and username with this URL as well. The way to do that is to first add a question mark, which pretty much says that anything that comes after the question mark are parameters or data fields that we want to send along. In our case, we want to send a token here. And I spell this exactly as the page input parameter that we saw in the verify email page. Then I say equals, and now I want to add the token that the Noodle integration gives us. So I'll just click that from the list here. Okay, so that's our first parameter, but the page also expects a second parameter, the username. And to add that, I use the ampersand, and then the exact name as in Noodle, username, like this, and then equals, and then the username from the list. Okay, so that's it for the link. There are more things that I can fill in here, like who the email is from and so on. But since I'm just doing this as an example, I won't fill in all of these other options. But if this was for Unreal App, I would probably look closer at some of these. Let's continue by clicking here, and now we're ready to test this. Now, the test email is being sent to test at test.com, so I can't actually see it, but we will soon check it out using my real email. Let's have a look at the password reset page our users should land on when they get an email to reset passwords in the sign up login template. This page has some page inputs. They are here and they're called token and username. Let's remember that for when we set up our password reset link in Zapier. If I look at the page node in Noodle, it has a property called URL path. And if I copy the value here, and then add it after my app's URL like this, and hit enter, we see the page we should get to. I'm going to try and change the password here. But as you can see, I get this message up here saying that the token isn't valid. And to get a valid token here, we will use the Zapier integration and add it to the URL we send in an email to our users. So back in Zapier, let's create a new Zap. Let's find Noodle and select that as our trigger app. Then in the trigger event list, I'm choosing the password reset email requested event and click continue. Now we need to choose a Noodle account or add a new one if we are working with a different app. You can always click here and then here to give your connections a better name. So let's call this one Noodle Signup Template. Okay, then a quick reload here, and now let's select it and continue and test the trigger. Success. We see some example data here, and there is a token and username that we will be needing in the next steps. Moving on, it's time to select what action I want to trigger. And in this example, I want to send an email. There are lots of services integrated in Zapier to do this, but I will choose this email by Zapier 
as I don't have to set up and sign in to a different service. I want to send an outbound email. First, let's get the user's email that we get from Noodle by picking it from this list. And then here I will fill in a subject. And just a short message in the body before it's time to add the link or URL our users should click to be able to reset their password. Let's copy the URL from my sandbox deploy, making sure we only get the base part and then paste it in the SAP. And now we want our users to go to a specific page in our Noodle app. And that page is the reset password page. So let's have a look at that page in Noodle again. Here we can see that the URL path is reset-password. And we already looked at the page inputs, so we remember that we need to send the token and username along with the URL as well. Back in Zapier, let's add the reset-password part after the slash here. And then we want to send the token and username with this URL as well. The way to do that is to first add a question mark, which pretty much says that anything that comes after the question mark are parameters or data fields that we want to send along. In our case, we want to send a token here, and I spell this exactly as the page input parameter that we saw in the reset password page. Then I say equals, and now I want to add the token that the Noodle integration gives us. So I'll just click that from the list here. Okay, so that's our first parameter, but the page also expects a second parameter, the username. And to add that, I use the ampersand and then the exact name as in Noodle, username, like this, and then equals the username from the list. All right. So that's it for the link. There are more things I can fill in here, like who the email is from and so on, but this is enough for our little example. Okay, so now let's test all of this for reals. Let's sign in here in the browser with the user I created before. As we can see, I have the banner here that says that I need to verify my email. Let's click it and see if I get an email. Here I am in my Gmail and look, there is the verify email. Let's open it and click the link. That worked just like I wanted. Now, if I log back in with my email and password, we can see that the verification banner is gone. Let's also try the password reset. I'll log out, hit the forgot password link here, and supply my email. And now back in Gmail, here is the password reset email with the password reset link. So let's click that. And now let's type in a new password. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we have actually added some pretty advanced functionality in just a few minutes. This is a really great template to start a project with, as it gives you a lot of oftentimes difficult user signup and login stuff, pretty much for free. Can't wait to see what you build. Happy noodling.